What's going on guys? I figured, uh, since I just figured this out that I would record it and do a little short on uh, something I didn't know and I just learned and I've been working on a B, you know, the B-Series Honda engine for years and I didn't really understand, I didn't, to be honest, I didn't know there was a difference. Um, I'm sure a lot of you probably knew this or maybe you didn't know this. Either way, figured I'd throw it up on a video, put it on channel. In case somebody's looking it up on YouTube, well, hopefully it helps you. Um, so here I have two timing covers, right? Well, neither one of them seemed to fit the engine correctly, and I couldn't figure out why. Well, the pump that is on there, I bought from Four Piston Racing, and it is a OBD2 oil pump. I just happen to have an OB1 oil pump here as well. So if I hold these up next to each other, you can see the difference. The OBD2 has all of the extra mounting holes on it for the crank position sensor. And an OBD1 oil pump is just straight flat, I guess. It doesn't have all of those additional, like the stud here, you know, the additional mounting hole. There's only one here, there's two here, and the additional mounting hole over here for that. So you take OB, these are obviously OB1 covers. As I set it on here, and it fits perfectly, and it's nice and tight up against the pump, where if I take the same OBD2, or I mean, excuse me, OBD1 cover, and I set it up on the engine here, you can see it does not sit flush against anything back here. And uh, that would just allow debris and everything to get up inside of there, so. One eternity later. All right guys, so it's like, I don't even know, a week later or something since I talked about the oil pumps, the differences in oil pumps. And, uh, well, I went ahead and I ordered a OBD2 timing cover, OEM, because for some reason, nobody seems to make an aftermarket one that's like cheap. So OEM OBD2 cover, like 60 bucks, not a big deal, right? It's about what I expected that it should be is uh, roughly around 50, 60 bucks, something like that. What uh, I didn't think was gonna be that expensive is the freaking gasket. So like you look at this OBD2 cover here, you know, it's or this is OBD1 cover. It's got this gasket, this rubber deal that goes around. Well, that, from what I understand, is not the same part number, which obviously it couldn't be because of, let me open this cover. We'll compare these and then I'll get back to the whole gasket conversation. All right, here we go. So here's the OBD1 cover. And you can see how the bottom is basically just round. And it's got this little, I don't know if, it must be like a drain or some deal. Well, the OBD2 cover is more, I don't know, it's more like squared here at the bottom. But anyways, so this gasket doesn't fit this cover. So, you know, I need to order the gasket for this before I can put it on the motor. Well, the gasket, you know, okay, I'm gonna give you guys a second. What do you guys, just take a guess. What do you think the gasket, what do you think the, what, what do you think the price was on that gasket? Just a piece of rubber, right? I mean, that's all it is, it's simple. It's just a piece of rubber that goes around a piece of plastic. One wouldn't expect it to be expensive, right? Take a guess. How right, you got your guess? I'll tell you how much it was. 50, 50, like eight, 56 dollars, something like that. It was 50 some dollars. Or a piece of rubber that goes around a piece of plastic. 
sure as heck wasn't happy about that one. Like at all. Dumb. And that, also I ordered this cover off Amazon. I also ordered the gasket off Amazon. And the gasket isn't going to be here till like next week or something. Monday. I, I can't remember. Like, it's just stupid. It's like, really, like I should have just went to the dealer, but hey, it ain't going to be any cheaper. There's still OEM parts. But if we come down here now with this cover. You guys might have to rewind to see the gap from the old one, but look at that. Look at that. She sits flush. Flush against the back there. Good and flush. It's awesome. Yep, actually seems to fit. Well, that's good to know. Now, if only I had a gasket, we could just put this dang thing on. But, don't have the gasket. Now, one thing I was curious about, and this should fit, is this little rubber piece for the timing tensioner. Take that sucker. Come on, get in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Money. So, I just need a gasket and we'll be golden. And fun fact, I do have this part as well, which is, they call it, a, they call it a timing belt stopper. And I don't really know how, why, what it stops, but we're gonna take a look quick and see. So an OB1 motor doesn't have this. Basically, this is what your, your crank position sensor wiring, hard opening stuff with one hand. This is what your crank position sensor wiring would run along. The harness clips into that square there and uh, it would go around towards the back side of the engine. Um, but I'm running this motor OBD-1, so OBD-1 motors didn't have a crank sensor. Everything was running off your distributor. So technically I don't need the sensor down here, but I did want to take a look just to see fitment of this little bracket here which would fit just like so and it doesn't actually I don't know why they call it a timing belt stopper because there's really nothing to stop the timing belt from going anywhere I mean it wouldn't hurt to bolt the part on I guess oh the end of the day, I mean, it's not going to do anything. I don't have to put the sensor on. I can just bolt it on and it ain't going to hurt anything. I mean, I even went as far as buying the two uh, OEM Honda bolts that go to that bracket. So, I mean, I have everything to put that thing on. I might as well just shove it on there. And when I get my gasket, I can finally put this cover on. I can finally put a damper on. But, yeah, it's just the little things that just pick apart your wallet in these projects. It's just dumb, stupid stuff you didn't think about. Wouldn't have been a problem if that cover would have been OBD2 or my pump was OBD1, but I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully this helps one of you out there in the Honda world um, and whatnot. Once again, not the most exciting content in the world this week. Um, I know everybody's just really, well, maybe not everybody here, but a few of you I know are waiting, really waiting for me to get that motor in the car, but working on it trying to get that you know it's, it's a, everything costs money so money and time but we'll get there um fuel tank that is that should be going in but um yeah that's i'm gonna close out this video here um hopefully you guys learned something um hopefully if you're here actually trying to figure out the difference between these dang covers or the oil pumps the way it helped you out and dropping stuff and uh yeah like subscribe stay warm and uh enjoy the rest of your weekend talk to you guys the next one peace